Nicola Badalana from PixieHill.com with a new project for my friends at Gypsy Soul Laser Cuts. Today I'm making a butterfly house with their small conservatory kit. I'm starting by wiping all of the edges of the laser cut pieces to remove any sooty residue from the cutting process. I simply fit the slots into the grooves and glue into place. I use a damp paintbrush to clean up any excess glue. Now to glue the sides to the floor piece. The roof is next. I'm using tacky glue here, which holds the pieces together fairly quickly. Cutting a bunch of strips from plain card. Some will be added to the edges of the structure to add simple detailing. Some will be used to create a slatted floor. You can skip these steps if you like, but I think they provide a really nice finished look. When adding the floor pieces, work section by section so that the glue doesn't dry before you can add the pieces. Burnish the floor into place. I'm just using the edge of a ruler. More strips are added around the bottom edge as a baseboard. I'm also adding some cardstock to the top of the base to camouflage the slat and tabs. will remain a little bit rustic, but the rest of the piece will receive two good coats of white acrylic paint for full coverage. I'm going to paint the doors white too. Adding some folded card to the top piece will give a crisp edge to those corners. Mm -hmm. 
I cut to fit afterwards because I am terrible at measuring and this gives me a perfect fit. And again, some lengths of card to camouflage the slot and tabs. is painted white. I begin working on the interior bits now. Some small wooden plant pots are painted to match terracotta. Then I fill those little pots with fake leaves and flowers. For the butterflies, I print out my English Fairy Garden collage sheet onto card at 50% the original size. Then I cut out more fluttery things than I think I'll need. With a tiny drop of hot glue, I attach the butterflies to the prepared potted plants. The conservatory has two sets of doors. I'm gluing the back doors into place and touching up any smudgy fingerprints because I make an absolute mess when I'm creating. Finally, you can fill that sweet little space, adding extra butterflies where you see fit. I'm going to leave the roof loose so that I can arrange and rearrange the contents easily. For the front doors, I admit that I hate dealing with little hinges, so I simply glued them open wide. Make this project as simple or complex as you like. You can omit the extra steps that I took to hide the construction elements, change the flooring, color it, fill it with things that suit you and your tastes. Whatever you do, be sure to show it off and tag the heck out of me because I love to see the things you make.